Hans learns HTML. So I've introduced you to the basic concept of tags. So the next thing I want to look at is uh, the idea of tags being included or nested inside of other tag pairs. Tag within a tag? Exactly. So here's a tag, HTML, and the closing here is HTML. This is the mother of all tags. This is the tag that tells the web browser that this is the beginning of HTML code, and this is the end of HTML code. So when you're writing your web pages, everything is going to lie between these two tags. You can think of it as a giant package or a box that holds everything. Everything's in it. The one exception is this up here. This is a tag that tells the web browser that this is an HTML document. That's why you see doc, right. which is sort of for document. Not doctor. Document right. type. And the document type is HTML. Why does it, do you need to tell the browser that? The browser has a built-in program, an engine that reads and understands and interprets HTML. So what this tag does, it tells the web browser to activate the HTML engine. Activated. There are several flavors of HTML over the years, and this particular doc type, there's different ones, tells the browser to use the latest version of HTML. Right. So we should put that on top of every web page? It should be there. Now, you, okay. can, you can get away without using it, but then you're going to get some weird behavior sometimes because the different versions of HTML worked a little bit differently. Better safe than sorry. So back to the concept we were discussing, HTML tags can lie within other HTML tags. So we see, for instance, we've got the HTML, the mother HTML tags, and we see all these in between. Here's another example. We have our head and head, and in between the head and head, you have this meta tag. I'll get into that in a second. You got the title tag. So um, it goes on. Now, what I want to do now is, because I don't want to bore you too much, let's actually change this template page here, and let's see what it looks like. Okay. So what I want to do is actually change the title and call this uh, episode uh, three. I saw that movie. So we'll save that, and we'll see what it does okay. in the browser. Now this is, it said the title. So let's just press refresh. Now, the reason I press this refresh button up here is because whenever you make a change to your HTML code, you gotta tell the browser to reload that code. Reload that page. Reload. So you see here, in the tab, it says title of your page three. Well, title of your page. Right, that's what you typed in uh, before. Exactly. If we look at the source view, source. I see. This is the first example for me where you change something in the text, and it had the result on the web page. Now our page itself is still blank. Yeah. And the reason that is because anything that you see here. Right. Has to be in between these tags. Oh, anything on the page is in the body. Exactly. So what we should do now is actually add some code to the body, some text, and see what it looks like. All right. To save time, I'm just going to copy this. And then let's go back and edit this page. File, edit with notepad. Now I'm going to go into the body. All right. And I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I'm just going to paste in the text like this. It's going to work, but it's not what you should do. You should actually put this text inside of a tag. We'll get into that in a few seconds. So I'll save that. Now you put you put something in the body now. Exactly. I put something in the body. Now I tried to save that, and I said the process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. Okay. I hate these windows and they come up. I know what that is. So I'll just press OK for now. The reason it's doing that is because I have this file selected so I have to deselect it and then I'm going to hit save again now it works no problem so now let's just reload this page again oh there it is so we've just built our very first HTML page right and this is all we need to know well this is pretty simple but we just build up from here it's incredible